Wacker Chemie AG is a worldwide operating company in the chemical business, founded 1914. The company is controlled by the Wacker family holding more than 50% of the shares. The corporation is operating more than 25 production sites in Europe, Asia, and the Americas. The product range includes silicone rubbers, polymer products like ethylene vinyl acetate redispersible polymer powder, chemical materials, polysilicon and wafers for semiconductor industry. The company sells its products in more than 100 countries. As of 31 December 2015, 16,972 employees have been with Wacker. Corporate annual sales in 2015 were about 5.3 billion euros, up 10% compared to 2014. The biggest production site of Wacker Chemi is the Berghausen plant in the southeast of Bavaria, Germany, with about 10,000 employees. The U.S. headquarters are located at Adrian, Michigan. Topic: Business activity. Wacker Chemie AG, divided into five divisions, derives most of its products from two main raw materials: silicon and ethylene. Siltronic supplies the semiconductor market with wafers. Wacker Polysilicon produces hyper-pure polysilicon for use in electronic and solar wafers. Wacker Silicone serves end markets like construction, automobile, paints, textiles, and paper. Starting from ethylene, Wacker Polymers serves mainly the construction industry with redispersible powders and several other industries with dispersions. Wacker Biosolutions focuses on using biotechnological processes to serve its customers. Wacker Polymers, a division of Wacker Chemi AG has appointed Peter Summo 48 as its next president, effective 1 October. Summo previously headed the Engineering Silicones business unit at Wacker Silicones. He is succeeding Arno von der Elts, who is retiring on this date. Wacker Chemie in the United States Tennessee Polysilicon Operations In 2009 Wacker announced plans to construct a new solar-grade polysilicon production facility in Charleston, a small city in Bradley County, Tennessee. Groundbreaking occurred on April 8, 2011, and the plant became operational in April 2016, costing approximately $2.5 billion and making it the largest ever single private investment in the state of Tennessee. In June 2017, a $150 million secondary expansion was announced. Topic: Safety issues. In October 2012, two subcontract workers fell to their death, resulting in a temporary suspension of construction activities. The subcontracting company was later found to be at fault. A Tasha inspection conducted in March 2016 resulted in a fine of $3,500 for regulatory violations over the control of hazardous energy. A second Tasha inspection conducted in August 2016 resulted in a fine of $4,000 for issues stemming from process safety and respiratory equipment. On August 30, 2017, five workers were hospitalized with chemical burns following a discharge of silane gas within the plant. Topic. 2017 explosion and aftermath 
On September 7, 2017, a massive explosion in the plant's hydrogen recovery unit resulted in the release of a steam cloud which could be seen for several miles, as well as the environmental release of low concentration hydrochloric acid. Due to initial concerns about the composition of the cloud, local officials closed a section of I-75 between nearby Cleveland and Calhoun, as well as nearby State Route 308 in Charleston. During the event, seven local residents, and a plant worker were transported to a local hospital with unspecified injuries. A firefighter and four sheriff's deputies were also treated for heat-related symptoms and later released. The following day, officials from the Tennessee Occupational and Safety Administration announced a temporary shutdown of the plant pending investigation. Five days later, an environmental sensor detected elevated levels of an unnamed substance prompting a shelter-in-place order for emergency workers involved in cleanup efforts within the facility. During the explosion event, local officials instructed residents to shelter indoors with their windows closed and HVAC systems turned off. Nearby residents complained of respiratory distress, as well as an odd taste in their mouths. This led to speculation in both local and social media that the cloud contained high concentration hydrochloric acid, despite media reports to the contrary. For the week following the event, there was little to no communication from Wacker management or government officials, resulting in further speculation about hazardous chemicals being released into the environment. Wacker management later issued a full-page letter stating that no hazardous chemicals were released. One and a half weeks later, Bradley County EMA Director Troy Spence held a press conference attempting to allay fears, and urging residents to sign up for the county's non-emergency text messaging service. <laughs> <laughs> Plastics manufacturing At the end of 2007, Wacker took over vinyl acetate, ethylene operations from Air Products Polymers. Consequently, it took full ownership of the activities in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and Calvert City, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Headquarters Wacker's U.S. headquarters are located in Adrian, Michigan, where Wacker Chemical Corporation is producing silicon materials. <laughs> Wacker Global The regions which Wacker has distributors and sale offices are as below. Middle East and Africa Greater China South Korea North America Russia and CIS India South America Southeast Asia Turkey Europe Japan Wacker production sites Wacker has many production sites across the world in the America, Europe and Asia. There are directly 13,500 employees in these continents which work for Wacker Productions Network. Europe sites Berghausen Cologne Halle Halle Jena Leon Neunschritz Pilsen, Stettin, Amsterdam, America sites, Adrian, Calvert City, Charleston, Chino, Edival, Jandira, North Canton, Asia sites, Jinchen, Kolkata, 
Nanjing Shund Olsen Sakuba Zhangjiagong